So hello guys, uh, myself Pratish. I am from Senior, and basically we are going to discuss today's content solution. And so just write a yes in the chat. So I am clearly audible to you all. Uh, so that we can begin. And can anyone say like how many problems you have done? Okay, louder. So now it is clear. Like. Is everything clear? Okay, you have done three. Okay, that's cool. So anyone here has done four? Like uh, anyone here who has done four? I am. Like you have done D or E? Which one? D, D. E go to L. I go to L. Okay. And anyone else? Like you can speak. Uh, there is no need to write on the chat. Uh, you can speak, by the way. Uh, within two minutes, we are going to start the discussion of the problem. So... Okay, and anyone who has not solved anything, like uh, there is nothing to shy about it. Uh, you can just tell that because of these reasons, I could not solve any kind of problem or anything. They can just say a yes or no in the chat. Means Gopal Gupta has written, I, I know Gopal Gupta, okay. Uh, you haven't done means you have done or haven't done. I'm just going to ask this. No, no, no. I solve four problems. When you asking for uh, that time, I write new. Okay, 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 okay. Then I'm sorry for it. I'm really sorry for it. No problem. No problem. Okay, okay, no issue. So let's start then. Okay, like let me share the screen. And uh, just let's just let me copy, uh, open everything. What is not being copied? And anyone is just a minute. Okay. So let me. So is my screen visible to you all? First of all, is my screen visible to you all? Uh, just tell me a yes or no because I can't see the chat. Is my screen visible to you all? Hello. Yes. So now let's begin. So the first two problems are very easy problems to be honest. And this could be solved uh, within two to three minutes, though I started the contest very late. So uh, here it is saying that uh, Shubman Gill is playing an international match and the number of runs by the number of balls played into 100 is a strike rate, which is the general strike rate. And the question is asked that, uh, what is his strike rate? Like, when will be his strike rate exactly become 100? So, so can everyone see my open board? Yes. So it is given that R by B into 100 must be 100. That implies R by B is equal to 1. That implies R is equal to B. Okay. So we have to iterate on each of the elements in the array. And we have to find exactly how many runs he has scored. So this could be found by the prefix sum concept. Like uh, we have to find the sum till a particular ball. And if it is equal to I plus one, then we have to 
uh, add it to the count means we have to take it inside or else we have to exclude it so uh, just um, yeah so here is the submission So can everyone see the solution? Like here, I have taken everything in a vector and I have uh, just summed it up. Like I have uh, made the submission, submission of each and everything. And if sum is equal to equal to the balls, that is I plus one, then count plus plus. And I have printed the count. So is it clear to you all? Like, do you have any kind of doubt in it? hello no 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 so that's it like uh, then let me move to the next one uh, there are 20 officers and an application and there is a linkage of pan okay and due to some internal conflict there are same number of application so here basically 10 to the power 100 means it is an obvious thing 10 to the power 100 means it is an obvious thing that uh, it is a string. Like we have to take a string. So it is 10 to the power 100 means we have to take a string in it. And we have to find the remainder when it is divided by 20. Means uh, n percentage 20 we have to find and n is a string so see whenever a number is divided by 20 so you can obviously see that the last two digits would be something like this 20 40 60 80 or it is 0 0 means if it is 100 then it is 0 0 so we know that the second last digit, exactly to be honest, the second last digit, the second last digit is even. So if an odd number comes, like if a number is there such as 39, so you have to obviously put a 20 here, like because the 20 is the smallest number that is divisible by 20 uh, before 39. And here you will get one and here you will get nine. But if it is something like 49, then you have to divide 40 only. And thus your answer will be only nine. Uh, here a zero would become, which is ex excluded. So we have to only see that if the second last digit is even, then we have to print the last digit. Then we have to print the last digit else if it is odd then we have to print one and the last digit so let me show you the code so all of you can see if n is equal to is equal to one means if only one digit is present then we have to do uh, that single digit minus zero means if one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and zero is present, then we have to do only that means just we have to subtract or we have to just print that digit only. And else if we have to take the last two digits and we have to check that if the second last digit is odd or even, and we have to work accordingly to the operations that is given. So is everyone clear or not? Means any doubt in this? Hello, am I audible? Hello. Hello. Audible. Okay, someone is telling that to explain the logic again okay sure so uh, you are telling of b no that prathamesh you are telling for b or for anyone or for anything else 
Okay. So listen. First of all, okay. Just a minute. Okay. This is not the statement. Yeah. So you can see that there are ten to the power hundred means the constraint is ten to the power hundred, and in integer in integer or long long we can take a maximum of 10 to the power 18 so we cannot take the input until and unless it is a string and then it is telling that if it is a string then we have to find the remainder by 20 okay so if 20 is taken then the answer would be 20 40 like how would you find the remainder so you will put 20 40 60 80 or you will put a 0 0 in the last because the remainder of 20 would be always lesser than 20 uh, which would be from 1 to 19 so now you would just take from 20 and you would start like you see, if it is a number like this, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So what would you do? You would just put a 20 here. Okay. You would just put a 20 here. And after putting 20, you can find like exactly uh, it is 1, it is 4. And why it is 1? It is 1 because it is odd. And, uh, and for 20, it will occur in every even instances so if you subtract it then it is always a one and if it is even like one two four four and then what you have to put you have to put 40 here okay because one two four zero would be the last number which is divisible by 20 and so to find the remainder it is four because four minus four zero which is cancelled out so you have to find only four means you have to take only four so you have to do accordingly if it is odd then you have to subtract it from means then you have to print one here no then you have to print only one here and if it is even then you have to print the last digit and if it is odd you have to print one and the last digit so is it clear now or still anything doubt the guy who was asking is it clear to you now? Okay, cool. Uh, so, if you are still in doubt, you can check out the code. Uh, here I have written it. You can check out the code. It is written here. Like, uh, if it is odd, then you have to print one and the last digit. Here, answer one represents the last digit. And even then, you have to print only the last digit. That's it. So now moving on to problem C. Uh, problem C is an N cross N matrix and everything is in a zigzag manner and you have to put everything in a diagonal. So we have to do it greedily. And uh, what I exactly did first, let me show you. actually override the problem and i can also tell you the best approach for it like it is a mathematical approach but it is all right like you can apply it, no issue so actually i took for every four like for every remainder of four which is actually not required so let me show you by drawing a chessboard only and if you want a chessboard, you can just take something like this. So it is looking like a chessboard, you can say. And it is saying that one is here, other one is here, the third one is here, the fourth one is here, the fifth one is here, and the sixth one is here. Seventh one is here, eighth one is here. Now let's take a number for n percentage four equal to equal to zero means we have taken here eight dots 
and in which manner we have to align them we have to align them in such a manner okay so now the point of question is who will come here who will come here the best approach to this is always remove this one always remove the second dot to here means the second dot the you just remove the second dot you put it here okay and you remove the second dot okay and now simultaneously bring this dot here this dot here this dot here this dot here and now in the remaining dot now in the remain sorry here another one uh, let it take here now in the remaining number of dots now in the remaining number of dots you can bring it in two ways you can always just bring it in two ways like you can take something here uh, like you can take something here and you can take something here like there is always a, a two lines possible to bring it here okay uh I think you are getting the point. Uh, okay, still, let me show it once again. Like you have to bring it here till here. Like you can bring in two lines. Like you can cross through this diagonal and come at this diagonal. Similarly, this point can be come and it can land here. So now the point is so, uh, here. The first thing that is going on is some points. Are moving once. And some points. Are moving twice. Now the point is uh, to whom you will move twice, like how many points you will move twice and how many points you will move one. Okay. So it is obvious that to minimize the number of steps, you have to move like see here you can see a pattern. Let me show you once again. Here you can see a pattern. See, some points are always in a straight line and they are at the upper side and some points are at the downer side, but they always share a diagonal. Like, let me just take a yellow pen and they always share a diagonal with each other. Okay, so you have two choices. At a phase of time, you always have two choices. And what are the two choices? Either move a up point to correct place or move a down point to correct place. Okay. So you have only two choices, either put a up point to the correct place or put a down point to the correct place. So obviously you have to take the minimum of them and you have to put the minimum in twice. You have to put the minimum in twice. And the maximum in one. So my approach was something like this. But I just overkill the problem to be honest. And I made a two shift. What is two shift? This is the second operator. Means the second point to be shifted. And for that you have to take two steps. I wrote it one year. But you have to take two steps. Now exactly remaining how many points you have to arrange. See. Now exactly like once the once this point like uh, let me just erase everything. See and let me take the red marker to shift means this has been shifted to this side and this has been there. Two shift means the two is arranged at that place. This has been shifted to this place 
and this has been shifted to here. So one, two, three, three points are at their places. Three point are at their places. Okay. And now how many points are left? N minus three points. So I took it. Okay. Someone has written something in the chat. Yeah, I know this. I know this. I know this. There is a be better approach. Always I know it, but I am exactly explaining why it is happening. Then we can come to your approach. Uh, basically here, n minus three points are there, and you can take a up, you can take a down, you can take the min of them, and you can just uh, find the answer. So see, uh, to be honest, you can find, you can just draw in a pen and paper, and I just drew it in a pen and paper and I saw, saw that when up is more and when down is more. So now the remaining points are n minus three and how many points are at the down? How many points are at the up? Like if something is even, then n minus three is always odd. And there will be obviously some plus one points at the up and some plus one points at the down. Like there would be a variability of one. So now we can see that which one is minimum and we can just multiply two into that and we can print it. You can take it for each and every four cases. So anyone is not clear with this approach can just raise a question or anything. I will definitely tell you the better approach after it. Uh, this is the worst approach, I think. But still, if anyone is not clear with this approach, exactly I wanted to tell why this is happening. What is the exact group quotes you can think upon it? If anyone is there, write a yes in the chat. Or, or, or no, or no. Okay, I feel no one is there. So now I'm going to explain the best solution of it. That is, uh, no, not this one. It is this one. Uh, this is a very brute force approach. That is three n minus five by two, and three n minus five by two would always work because here you are shifting. Okay, like uh, 3n minus 5 by 2y, like think you have point something like this. Uh, to bring it align, to bring it align, you can, everything you can move in three steps. Whatever you do to bring it in a align, everything you can move it in three steps. But the number of points aligned, uh, just a minute. The, num the number of points inclined means which will be any eliminated would be this point, this point, this point, this point, and the middle one. Okay, so it is 3n minus 5. And for each and every point, you are applying it two times. For each and every point, You are applying it two times. So two into steps equal to three n minus five steps equal to three n minus five by two. In some cases, it would just be less than zero for which I have to take the maximum of zero and this. Is everyone clear with it? Or will anyone as a doubt. Am I audible? Just write a yes in the chat. Hello. Hello. Am I audible? Hello.
Actually, I'm not able to hear anything. Hello. Yeah, you are out. Okay, that's fine. So now let me move. Uh, now I'm audition. Yeah. So now let me move on to the next problem, and that is the E. Uh, actually, I overhyped the problem, and I took a uh, very complex data structure that is map of int and set int, which is a very complex data structure. Uh, to be honest, you don't have to do anything in the problem. Like the solution, which I found the best was this one. Okay. Like a basic kind of common sense is required in this problem. So just let me explain this problem. Uh, first of all, you must be knowing C over SLS. Okay, so by using C of RSMS, what you can do is you can find the number of numbers. Uh, those are less than 1E5 and are uh, prime. Because in the constraint, it is given that all the numbers are till 2E5. So you can take till 2e5. Now in the set, you can put all the divisors of them. You can put all the divisors of them. Uh, like here I wanted to show you. In the set, you can put all the div divisors of them and you can store it in a map. Like you can store it in a map. And whenever you need to access it, Whenever you need to have access it, then you can just find like MP of answer to access the set. Access the set. Okay. Then what I did was like I was finding in a in a set in a set. I was finding everything like uh, for each integer. I was finding exactly if the multiple is present or not. If it is present, then delete it and move to next. But I hope a better solution has been written by this guy. And you can check his solution. Uh, I will give you the link. So basically he has also done the same thing. He has also taken the C and he has also taken like from 1 is 6 plus 42. And exactly what he did was exactly. Uh, hello, am I audible now? Hello. Yeah, you're audible. Uh, so exactly what he did was he took a divorce like he also took a multi set of array he took a multi set of array and for each array he stored the exact divisors like who all are di being divided by them and after that he just checked inside like he went inside that uh, he uh, ran each and every query and he checked like if if it is in the divisor if it is in the divisor he took the min of all of them he took the mean of all of them because the question is given like that and else he just printed the minimum of them. Like it is a brute force question uh, to be honest maths, but the fact is that how to store them like I stored it in a map of set and he stored it in a multi set of arrays like you have to use some of the complex data structure to use it like to get the access and after that after getting the access you can just delete or erase that uh, there is no issue so is everyone clear with it
Uh, yes. So if anyone is having any kind of doubt, then kindly inform me. So is there any senior member there? Can you please just uh, uh, stop the uh, recording? Okay, I'm I'm just stopping the recording.